What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Infinite. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay. So, in our last episode, we went through the dreaded Route 110, 103. Then we went into the Trick House and all that stuff. And now, it's time to continue the whole dreaded Route 113, or 110, I should say. And there looks like there's a very rare Pokemon right there in front of us. So, I better stay out of the grass. And it looks like a level 23 Voltorb, so... Hopefully, yes, we got him. This is a first because we're looking at a very rare Pokemon, and look at that. We got a, Vol a Voltorb, and, well, I've been thinking about it. I should. I could probably do it. Yeah, but no. This guy right here, Disarming Voice, will not work against uh, Voltorb. So let's go right ahead and, wow, get hit by this guy. Wow. <laughs> a critical hit. Messes us up, so yeah, we're gonna have to go with Ole right here. Okay, Voltorb, I don't like you, you don't like me, you're using your speed as an advantage. I am here with the vengeance, and this guy has an electro ball attack, so this right here is a pretty messed up move. And yes, we're gonna try and capture this Pokemon right here because, well, shoot, it's level 23, it could help us. I mean, I could use Razor Leaf, but yeah. I mean, Fate has a really messed up way of, like, giving me the big old middle finger just because I use a very strong attack. And, well, it's looking like I might have to do it. So, here we go. Razor Leaf, please don't give me a critical hit. And here comes a Charge Beam attack. So, this is a very rare Pokemon, indeed. So, let's go, Razor Leaf. And, okay, so we got it all week. Let's go right ahead and capture this guy. This guy deserves to be part of the team for just the time being. So here it is, Pokeball Go. Or Ultra, or Great Ball, yeah. Great Ball and... Throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we caught ourselves a new Pokemon, and that is Voltorb. And it is at level 23. So here it is, guys. Voltorb, the electric-type Pokemon. Voltorb is extremely sensitive. It explodes at the slightest of shocks. It is rumored that if uh, that it was first created when a poke with a pokey when a Pokeball was exposed to a powerful pulse of uh, energy. So because this is a very special Pokemon, a very very special Pokemon, I might as well use it for the remainder or for whatever time being. So, I got a nickname for this guy. Let's go ahead and bequeath this Pokemon's name. Thunderball. Yeah, that's a pretty good name right there, right? Thunderball. Okay, alrighty. Thunderball. So, what's going to happen, guys, is off screen. I am going to be switching out a Pokemon here and there. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, at Route 110. And, well, we got ourselves a Thunderball. And I did say I wanted to use some different Pokemon for this. Voltorb is definitely one of these Pokemon that I would never use. In fact, uh, I'd never really use them. Well, only for HM slaving and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Thunderball. So, as you guys can see, I, I, I'm, I'm only assuming that maybe, just maybe, Electro Ball or Charge Beam could be its uh, special move or what made it special. It does have the ability Soundproof, which gives the full immunity to all sound-based moves. As you guys can see, its attack, not that great, but it is a uh, it is a very, very, very speedy Pokemon. So this adds a nice amount of speed going into this whole thing. Yeah, we're going to be doing good right here. So let's go ahead and try out our new Pokemon, Thunderball, against this kid right here. If you can only stop running, god dang it. Okay, he's literally doing this on purpose. Okay, so bring it on. Let's go. So, anywho, yeah, Voltorb, that's a new one. That is literally a new one. So, let's see how long it will last when I'm using your uh, good old Thunderball right here. Of course, going into Omega Ruby, I'm going to have to update that with uh, with what would I have. So, here we go, Electro Ball. And, uh, let's see, the other thing that's special about this Pokemon, too, is its level. It's at level 23, so... We're closer to evolution, which is great. And uh, well, let's see. Here we have an Auron, so that's definitely a Pokemon that will not will not be uh, able to defeat that quickly. So here we go, switching out for our good old buddy JD or JDF, good old Tommy. 
And here is Auron, a Pokemon that is both Steel and Rock type. The thing is that, you know, the Rock type never really overtakes the whole electric uh, immunity because, well, shoot, it's still a Steel type, so. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of get the idea. So, look at that. Guy grows to level 17 and is learning Magical Leaf. And, well, as always, I'm going to be taking off Teleport because it's not really a move that I, I, I do use all the time. In fact, I probably should have used that move while I was moving in and out and all that crud. So, yeah, that's a big uh, that's a big bet on me. So, let's go take it on Ole. Okay, so... Ole, how's it going? You got this big old sombrero on ya. Taking on Electric right here. And let's go straight for a Razor Leaf. Now, normally in the Hoon region, I'd be going for Electric, but I kind of wanted to try a little something different here. So, this should be fun. And as you guys can see, bam, we have defeated Timmy. Timmy Turner. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's go ahead and meet our fate. And well, hello there. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Draven! It's been ages. Nice timing, too. I was just searching for Pokemon, you know? My dad is always going on on how nature or how nature used to be even more diverse way back then, or way back in the day. He says that there used to be more, way more kinds of Pokemon uh, than never before, so now that now that's why we do field work, him and me. We really uh, want to keep, or we really want to find out what happened to those Pokemon in the past. On my journey up to now, I've met a lot of different Pokemon, and I've and I think I've gotten to understand a lot of them too. Me and my Pokemon have really grown. So, how about a little battle? Sure, it's not like I don't have a choice. Okay, so here it is, guys, taking on Pokemon Trainer May. Mm, 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 looking fine as always, and she is coming out with Shroomly or Shroomish. It really hurts me to see Shroomly. In fact. Shroomly is probably, or uh, Shroomish is one of, is probably one of my favorite grass type Pokemon just because of when it, what evolves to. And, well, let's go back to Tommy, since it does have a move that can actually work. And here we have Leech Seed. Yeah, that's definitely the combination I'd be using to, to beat, to beat me and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use the Charge Beam right here on Dragon Ball Z. There we go, and bam. And that speeds us up just a little bit, but it, you guys got to understand, we got Leech Seeding. So let's see what other Pokemon she has, and, well, she is coming out with a Marsh Stomp. I wish I could use, I wish I could use Thunderball in this, but that is not going to work in this one right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Ole. Yes, both water type Pokemon, but guess what? Mine has the advantage. Quadruple damage against you. So here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. And just like that, you have been defeated. Oh, yes. Ole, kick some butt, take some names. Toxic Batman growing to level 18, and here comes Slugma. Yeah, we're going to keep it like this. Okay. So, Slugma, how you doing? You're looking like a slug. Time for a bubbly attack. Now, I'm going to use the water sport. Just to weaken it just a little bit. But here comes the water or the bubble beam, and wow, that right there hits us pretty good. So let's go. One more bubbly beam attack, and uh, well, here we go. Bubbly beam for the win. And just like that, bam! We grow to level 24, and we're learning a uh, bubbly beam. So let's go ahead and take away bubbly and take and give it the bubbly beam. Okay, alrighty. There we go. So we're progressing, we're doing things, we're doing big things, and, ah, uh, at the price of her, you know. Thanks, you're better than I expected. Yes, I am. Okay, so what do you have to say now? Draven, you've been busy training too, haven't you? Oops, look at us. Our teams look pretty tired. Let's get th let's get them taken care of first. You see, she's, she's, she's very good. She's very nice to me. Had your Pokemon restored, and now you deserve a reward too. Here, this is from me, and we get ourselves a dowsing machine, which... Yes, we're going to be needing. That's a dowsing machine. Try it out, and if there's a hidden item anywhere near you, that thing will, that little thing right there will react. And pay attention, and I'll lead you to the right items. Or, yeah. It's fun to see all those waving bits uh, above your head. Try, try it, and I bet you'll be hooked. Careful, you won't be able to sneak up on Pokemon while you wear it. So, yeah, we're going to be meeting up again. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... Put that on our, like, on our register. Not that. 
as many of you guys would want me to like turn that off I'm not going to do it so let's register that to the one of four items that we can use and let's press that Y button and bam okay so as you guys can see it glows up and once it turns red you're right in front of it and bam we find ourselves a a great ball right there definitely something that we need we definitely need and it looks like to me we got some more items there we go and yes we're gonna get oh it's right in front of us and this guy's gonna be like stepping in front of it thanks a lot super nerd okay or collector I don't care what your name is you messed it up so here he comes out with a lombre and here we go Thunderball and well we already know what's going to go on right here so let's go with an electro ball see if that actually works and that hits it pretty good and here comes a soundproof which yes we are not affected by your cries yes alrighty alrighty nice okay so he, he looks like a very very strong ally indeed and Tommy JDF grows a level 25 and is learning quick attack so let's go right ahead and take away sand attack for just right now I know I'm not being strategic with him, but yeah, quick attack could be useful when it comes to this. Zigzagoon, trying to learn pin missile right here, and uh, well, let's go with da, 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 da. you know what? Let's go with Mud uh, Mudspore. I'm not too afraid of these electric type Pokemon right here. Okay, just like that. And here comes a Nuzleaf. So let's go right ahead and use Tommy JDF. Time to kick some butt. Time to kick some names. And then, there we go. Tommy JDF, ready to go. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a flame charge attack right here. And, bam! Just like that, Nuzleaf has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Collector Edwin has been defeated. This guy is really going to get me get on my nerves, so... So... Okay, right here. Never mind. It's right here. Okay. Had he been stepping on it, I would have been angry at him. I would have been like, is there a push button in here? Somewhere. Okay, so we only have three repels plus a super repel. Might as well not waste that. And, well, as you were already told, we cannot sneak up on a Pokemon. So, let's see. There should be an item right here. And, well, we're going to be battling with one more trainer. So, let's go right ahead, beat this guy. And, well, here he comes out with a, uh, what was it called? Uh, a, an Abra. Okay, Abra, time to get beaten up by Thunderball. I'm really liking this Pokemon. I really am. I'm actually glad that I caught it. And, well, there's a special attack boost. And there goes... A hidden power attack, which, uh, well, it doesn't really affect me much, so thankfully that math equation didn't work. So here goes an Electro Ball attack. And just like that, bam, Abra defeated and Thunder Ball grows to level 24. Oh yeah, so close to its final evolution, which is pretty cool. And, well, let's see if this guy has stepped on an item that we are needing. There we go. There you are. Okay, so we found ourselves a Pokeball. That could be useful. And, well, is there anything else? No, there's nothing else except for these trainers right here. Yes, I'm sneaking up on you, and Thunderball is going to take care of you right now. So, let's go right ahead and take on Fisherman Dale. Coming out with a Tentacool. You know, that's another Pokemon I wanted to use. Tentacool. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome Pokemon as well. So, let's go right ahead... And just use Electro Ball all the way. Yes. Finish him. And, well, this guy right here has been fainted. And Gaia grows to level 18. Not so bad. And here comes Wilmer. Now, believe it or not, this Pokemon is big. Very, very big. It just doesn't look big just because of this whole thing right here. So, here we go. Wilmer defeated. That's right. That is right. Okay. And, well, Fisherman Dale has been defeated. And he is not liking this. Not one bit. So, let's see. Is there, is there another trainer? No, we will not use another repel. And, yes, wouldn't it be great to ride a bike? Now, if you talk to this gentleman right here, he's actually going to give you 
Well, actually, I thought he was going to give you a berry, but I guess I was wrong. So let's go right ahead and grab these Lepa Berries. And there we go. Alrighty. Lepa Berry, good. Let's go ahead and grab this Lepa Berry. Now, I've gotten a little bit of a comments about the whole contest thing. Some of you guys are, are for it. Some of you guys are against it. I mean, when it comes down to it, I might be doing it. I don't know. Never really tried it right here in this version, but here it is, guys. The entranceway to Mauvale City. And as you guys can see, we got people here. Wow. So this is Mauvale City. <laughs> you sure seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what what would you like to do? Do you want to grab a bite and eat at the Mauvale Food Court? Or maybe should we get a bike for your own Rydell Cycles? Would you like that? I bet exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is... Hmm. Yep, straight ahead. Uh, straight, uh, straight ahead this way. Just through the inner courtyard. Ah, and... Well, he, he, he looks a little confused right there. So, here it is, guys. Mauville City. It, is, it has now been turned into a mall. Literally, mall. Mauville City. It just says it right there. And look at that. We get ourselves a an X speed, which could be useful. And, well, what we're going to do right here is we're going to be pausing right here in the courtyard. I think that's what he, what he called it. And we're going to be exploring Mauville. Maybe, maybe just potentially battling a new, another gym leader. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as supportive as me. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in Mauville City. See you guys.